Hey you guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel, family. You already know what time it is, get game. We understand, make sure you hit that subscribe button to be a part of crew. Smash that like button to see what it do, you guys, okay? So, let's get into this reading for you. It's 222, so let's see what it do, what's coming next whenever it comes to your life, okay? Let's read it on down. This is going to be for my Pisces. Let's see what the energy is like, what advice I can give you guys, all right? Let's see what's popping off. All right, so Pisces, we have the first chakra Archangel Michael letting us know that right now is the time to where you feel an insecure thing. You feeling a little bit insecure. You feeling like things is not all together, okay? And we have the seventh chakra Archangel Uriel. So it's saying it's smart for you to sit back and make plans whenever it comes to the strategy card. So it's smart for you to focus on planning things in your life because with the daughter romance right here, your romantic connection's not working out. And with the contract card, this one being in reverse, okay, letting us know that there's going to be somebody that you end up breaking up with because with the deceit card, you're going to be feeling like you can't trust them and with the woman holding a heart, like they're not giving you enough love. So, But at the same time, you feel like you have patience too to sit around and wait. So this is why cards are saying that you need to come up with a plan as to what it is that you want to do. Do you want to sit around and wait? Which is one of those things to where who wants to sit down and wait for love or wait for someone to change? That's what we all have to sit back and think about. Like who wants to sit down and wait whenever there's a lot of potential out there for you to sit back and indulge with other individuals? So if you first step is to sit back and talk to a person. After that, see if things change in terms of actions wise. If it doesn't, then it's like you have to ask yourself if you're willing to wait, how long you're willing to wait, you know, things like that. How deeply in love you are with that person. Is it worth it? Everything. Okay. <clears throat> and then with the patience card, this might take some time for you to come to a decision. So also you have the community card. This one's in reverse and the angel of love is also in reverse. Letting us know that right here, you be feeling like you don't want to give attention to friends. So this might be one of those things where because your romantic connection is not working out, you feel like you don't want to sit back and give attention to some of your friendships. And you might not want to be friends with that person. So you might not want to downgrade in terms of y'all just being friends. You know, like it's like you want a relationship and want that person to care for you or just nothing at all. But we also have the door of spirit and the goddess of the moon letting us know that you're feeling connected to this person with the second chakra archangel ariel you're not going to see you guys in terms of being having sex or you might guys might not have as deep of an intimate connection because with the blossom of abundance being in reverse it's saying that things aren't working between the two of y'all but with the man holding the heart it's saying that you're giving a lot of love to this person and with that door to value and the goddess of the moon you'll be showing your feelings and you value that person a lot and that could also be in terms of materialism as well, in terms of with the door to value and the goddess of the moon, saying that you might also, since you sitting back having feelings like you're not getting attention, this could also be you feeling like you need to buy things as well. So a lot of us indulge into retail therapy whenever we sit back going through shit. Sometimes we just need to bring something new into our life in order for us to feel satisfied. It doesn't even matter. It could be you going out and buying a goddamn new drink okay, or experience something new in terms of drinks, or you could go out and buy like a new shirt um, you know, like whatever little thing you will find yourself whenever you emotionally going through stuff. That's whenever the cheapest thing in terms of being able to heal would be some sort of food or something new in terms of like, just to kind of like keep your attention for the second, for the moment, whatever. All right. And then also we have the caring connection card. This one's in reverse. So you're going to be feeling like this individual doesn't care for you. But with the sun card, you're going to be feeling like things could work because with this broken heart card, you have a lot of feelings for this person. But with the yin and yang being in reverse, you're not realizing the fact that you are keeping yourself from being balanced out by holding on to these feelings for an individual that's not showing you attention. And with the adjacent possibilities, this one being in reverse, it's like you'd be feeling like you don't want to let nobody else in. So this is where you're messing up at is the fact that you hold on to these feelings. You're not. And it's like when you hold on to those feelings, it'll cause you to refuse to let other people in or to refuse to see the fact of you might be in a good relationship, but you're not able to see that it's good because you still hold on to feelings for the previous person. <coughs> so it's like no matter what that person that you're in the new relationship ends up doing, they're no they're not able to satisfy you. Even if they are going above and beyond, you're not able to see it. All right, so we have the third chakra archangel Camille letting us know that there's something that you desire. Okay, so you're going to be sitting back desiring for 
you not to be emotionally unbalanced, okay, with that one being in reverse, that angel of balance. And with the indecision card, it's saying that right here, you're going to be a little bit indecisive as to what to do because you're going to be feeling a little bit jealous. And with the thinking woman card, you have a lot of jealous thoughts or feelings right here that you're holding on to in terms of this person moving on or then being with somebody else. So these are the things that you're going to have to work on moving forward in, able, in order for you to be able to stay focused and manifest whatever it is that you want in your life. Otherwise, you're going to end up doing like we said in the video. Whatever you put in is what you end up receiving out. All right. So hopefully this helps you guys out for today. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next video. Peace out.